Okay, dear, dear colleagues, dear graduates, I'm very glad to announce today the beginning of the conference. And so I would like to tell you that annually, every year, we are making the final conference for our graduates for navigation department just to prove their competence and qualification to work at sea. The theme of this conference of, uh, of this year, of today, we have chosen with Mr. Katsaran, your senior leader in the GMDSS, and so we decided to pay attention to the most important items of everyday work of navigators on board the ship. You know that now you are not admitted to be a qualified navigator without knowing of the operation of the systems which we present today. I want to meet also all our students who agreed to prepare a great extent information regarding the systems of GMDSS and ship's navigation system. So the first one who will speak on the global position, so to say paramount importance of the GMDSS, it will be Mr. Sayanka, you are welcome. Uh, I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Sayenka Maxim. Uh, I am the cadet of uh, Force Course Navigation Department, uh, Global Maritime Distress and Safety System. Uh, the concept of a GMDSS began at the International Maritime Organization. The, requir the requirement for ships uh, to comply with the GMDSS is prescribed by SOLAS Chapter 4 and uh, applies to all passenger ships and all, pa and all cargo ships uh, over 300 gross tonnage when on international voyages. The GMDSS has been constructed uh, according to the master plan published in the annual GMDSS and Right here. Okay. Uh, in the in the gym, in the handbook, uh, which describes uh, the entire system and the relevant uh, equipment standards. GMDSS communications between ships and uh, rescue coordination centers is carried out using satellite and terrestrial radio subsystems. Uh, many types of vessels, regardless of size are not required to comply with GMDSS even when on international voyages. Uh, the American communication procedures GMDSS and non-GMDSS non uh, uh, are, are contained in the Radio Regulations 2008 uh, published by the International Telecommunication Union. International Telecommunication Union manual also contains uh, also contains information uh, about uh, cancelling procedures uh, of uh, accidental distress messages. Uh, subsystems. Uh, the GMDSS is composed of several subsystems uh, which are coordinated through rescue coordination centers uh, to provide all the required uh, functions needed to ensure safety at sea. The main subsystems can be grouped as follows. The digital selective calling system. Uh, this is an automatic calling system uh, which makes the initial contact between two stations, groups of stations, and uh, stations in a selected area. The caller composes message uh, which is transmitted to the uh, receiving station. Uh, dedicated radio frequencies uh, uh, have been allocated for this purpose in the VHF, MF and HF bands for short, medium and long ranges, respectively. Uh, the satellite communication system in Marsat is a commercial enterprise um, and uh, is currently the only provider of GMDSS, uh, maritime communications and services. In Marsat, offer a full range uh, 
uh, of general communication and network solutions. Uh, geographical coverage is between uh, 76 degrees north and 76 degrees south. Satellite ship or station. If the equipment uh, is the main station or duplicated equipment, uh, it must be possible to activate distress uh, alert from the navigation bridge. The terminal and telephone, if any, uh, may be placed in a radio workstation in connection with the bridge and uh, um, or in separate uh, communication office. The satellite terminal or uh, external printers uh, must be also elsewhere. So welcome, you may take a seat there. Take a chair, please. The Maritime Safety Information System. Um, MSI contains uh, navigational and meteorological warnings, uh, meteorological forecasts, uh, and other urgent and safety related messages uh, of importance to all vessels uh, at sea and uh, may also include updates for electronic charts. Uh, broadcasts are by MF terminal. A telex known as Navtex and uh, uh, for local MSI and by Inmarsat C or uh, HF Telex for long range MSI. Uh, the appear system, emergency position indicates radio uh, All source compliant vessels are required to carry an, uh, to carry an appropriate appear. Uh, Separate uh, alerting by appear. Um, is carried out through the COSPAS SARSAT network. The COSPAS SARSAT network uh, provides full global coverage via a series of satellites in polar orbit and uh, supplemented by additional series in the geostationary orbit. The polar orbiting satellites uh, can determine position by Doppler method. Uh, the geostationary satellites relay a uh, signal with no delay. Uh, float free a uh, uh, The float free a uh, should, uh, should be located so that the following requirements are fulfilled. Uh, because the a should, uh, um, with great possible probability, float free and avoid being caught on railings and superstructure, uh, etc. In the ship seat. Uh, and second, the appear should be located so that it may be easily uh, released manually uh, and uh, brought to our craft by one person. Uh, appears false alert uh, and got received. The false, act the false activation of 406 megahertz appear, which is not immediately detected on board. Um, will result the rescue coordination centers uh, to contact uh, the ship. Uh, if, uh, if contact is not established very quickly, uh, full search and rescue procedures uh, can be initiated. Uh, a device has been developed, uh, developed which can detect when an appear has been activated. The stand guard appear guard receiver is designed to be fitted to a bulkhead uh, in the wheelhouse. Uh, if an appear signal, signal is determined, it checks the transmission uh, uh, to see whether the appear belongs to own ship or to another vessel in the vicinity. Uh, it then gives an audible alarm. Uh, the SART system, search and rescue transporter. The SART is a portable radar transceiver, uh, primarily intended to be deployed on the survival craft. Uh, when it receives a 9 GHz uh, radar signal, uh, it switches on its transmitter and radiates on special signal. Mm. This is seen as a series of 12 dots on a radar screen uh, with a range. Uh, the dot nearest to the screen center will indicate the SAR location. Mm. So, uh, I made a general introduction to the global maritime distress and safety system. Oh, that's all. Okay, I think we, we may discuss if they have questions, so maybe you have questions.
So I think uh, for everybody it's clear because uh, at least you have studied all this uh, presented to the uh, in Russian, but if it is difficult for you in English, but anyhow the Russians are you know. So if somebody has a question, you are admitted to ask your question, please. To the person who reported. So questions. Do you have questions? No questions, no That's comments. It. What do you think, Mr. <laughs> I just have two notes for the um, our cadets that reported about the general uh, construction of the system. First of all, uh, we never say satellite ship earth station, it's just ship earth station. Just have in mind. And uh, it appeared that's uh, interpretation of Russian language. In English, we never say appear. It's E P I I R B or emergency position indicating a radio beacon. So in English, it's not uh, <coughs> legal to say appear. Okay. Uh, I'm very pleased uh, by this report. It was very informative, very brief, and uh, just in uh, on the top. So I'd rather want to hear some questions from the cadets because uh, <laughs> the results of our previous control works were not so successful and uh, it would be very good if they ask and uh, discuss what it has been reported just now. So go ahead and ask questions. Okay. So Mr. Shibriagin, you have a question, please? Yes, I have a question about in Mansat. Uh, what frequencies in Marsat working on? Who knows? May help? Um, Who knows the frequencies? Yes, please. So the Marsat system operated in the 1.5 MHz and 1.6 GHz. Is it right? Please. Who may say, in short, how we call the band, L -band. L -band. L -band. L -band. and now about the figures, 1.5 what? 1.5, 1.6. Okay, who else? Other patients you mean, yes? Sure. Do you have other patients? I want to hear the discussion in English because uh, as I say, the results of our previous control work were indicated that we have a lack of English in uh, operation of the GMSS operators. So please be active and show your activity. Okay, maybe we, will, we should give it for another for reports. Maybe the others think they will discuss more vividly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much for your uh, report. You, you have exposed and now we are welcome uh, the cadet of the first course uh, also Mr. Soto communication systems for use in the global system so they will go they will change each other okay yes please now we shall move on to this one yeah yeah right <laughs> Let me introduce myself. My name is Mitya Malik. I'm a student in Fort Fox through global communication in the whole system. Please start. No, you may go for recording and they can start the, the slides, the presentation. Yeah. Interest of communication. The strength of communication, we see from the basic of uh, this fact, Alberton and safety communication. Listed and safety communication following a DSC call can be performed by radio telephony or direct printing telegraphy of both. Long range service. Use of IHF provides a long range service in both ships or short and short or short direction. In areas covered by in it can be used 
as an alternative to satellite communication and outside these areas and provide 